Hey there, hi there, ho there, Mouseketeers. It's another MAGA Monday. And I uh, hope you had a good weekend, because I sure as hell did. Uh, uh, had a great anniversary was on Saturday. Uh, church was on Sunday. And a really great bunch of people got together, show their support for Israel along 501, and I was privileged to be amongst them. Okay, now getting down to brass tacks. We have some real issues here that are that have been around for a while. And every time we think they're addressed, it's just rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. And what I'm talking about is intelligence failures. And what you got to learn about about intelligence failures is it's administrator failures it's the people in charge it's not the people going out there and getting that raw intel getting that information and getting it to the analysts so the analysts can analyze it send it upstairs and then the administrators go pish posh you now I'm talking about how many times did uh how many times did Clinton pass on a chance to kill Bin Laden? You know, we had people in the te Joint ter Terrorism Task Force in the Central Intelligence Agency that knew about the threat from Bin Laden, that knew about the guys in the in the in the uh, flight schools, uh, and. Uh, the, uh, you had the special agent in charge of counterterrorism in New York uh, being ignored uh, and actually uh, shown the door and forced into retirement by the FBI director, Louis Free. And uh, what ended up to that guy? Uh, he ended up dying in one of the, one of the towers on 9-11. He, he had a job as head of security. At the twin t at, at, at because he knew they were a target, he knew they were a target, and he thought he was best served working there, and he died, died at his post. I can guarantee you there were a assets, there were intelligence officers, and there were uh, probably some other people up, up the food chain that were screaming about. Uh, Iran gearing things up for Hamas. I guarantee you, it. it and I'm talking about our ass, our, our intelligence people, and uh, not the not to mention the Mossad. I, I'm I'm shocked at this with the Mossad, but this is there's there's people who knew, there's people who knew, and there's people who passed it up the food chain, and it was ignored. And that's that's what it, that's the real problem with the intelligence failures. It's not the assets. It's not the the intelligence officers. It's these clowns in the Beltway, and that needs to be cleaned up. Not create new agencies. Not fold different agencies together like we did after nine eleven. Uh, make the agencies work together. Because that's part of the problem. That's still part of the problem, where where they don't play nice amongst each other, uh, and uh, that's yeah you know, they they compartmentalize. And when you compartmentalize, you know maybe maybe there's a piece here in the in, in the, the 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 FBI has, and there's a piece the NSA has, and you you know you need to put these two pieces together. Yeah. Now let's get to our leaks uh, that are within our government. We had this guy Robert Maley who uh, worked for the NSA uh, in in the uh, uh, Obama administration. Had close relations with Iran, and here he is now on uh, un unpaid leave of absence uh, because he was. He, had, he may have done, leaked information, classified information to Iran. On top of that, 
he had three operatives working in agency that were feeding him information uh, that he could have been feeding back to Iran. And one of those in one of those people is still working, still has their security clearance in the Pentagon, in the DOD. What other administration will allow that to continue? Uh, none. Uh, these people would all be charged. They'd be in a DC lockup right now, or Gitmo, or somewhere else. But they would be some. They they wouldn't be out and about where they could where they could cause more damage uh, than they already have. But you know, Mr. Magoo just lets everything go. Now let's take a look at some of the other issues we got. We got a Democrat senator who sold his cell, soul to the Egyptians. Now this guy was found uh, a hung jury in 2015 uh, for the stuff he, the type, same type of stuff he's being charged with now, with bribery and and. Um, uh, but now he's actually charged as being a, a foreign agent uh, for Egypt um, he continued on almost immediately after he got got off on, on uh, with the with the hung jury before so you know he's Looking at some major, he's looking at some major time, probably spending the rest of his life in prison. Uh, the one thing I can't get over is he still has not been expelled from the United States Senate yet, and uh, that that really um, pisses me off. And then you got a guy in the House, another Democrat in the House, who was compromised by a Chinese prostitute that happened to be a spy. Uh, Fang Fang, you know, Eric Swalwell. Why is he still in his seat? This is a man who compromised his his his, his position as a United States congressman for a piece of ass. You know, unbelievable. Unbelievable. But at the top of all this, at the top of all this is the Biden family. The Biden family, the Biden crime family, uh, was in league with the Ukrainian crime syndicate. Because, let's face it, that's what that government is and was up until the, up until the war. <clears throat> then all of a sudden, everybody virtue, virtue signals because Russia invaded the Ukraine. Ukraine was never, never a good country. Uh, they're everything that that liberals claim America is. I mean, the the, the people are, are vehemently racist. I mean, the, the white supremacy, Nazism, runs in their blood. They have an entire division of their military that are um, admitted uh, Nazis, you know, admitted white supremacists. It is a nation of white supremacists. On top of that, on top of that, they were a crime syndicate. You have these guys known as oligarchs. Well, the oligarchs are uh, basically crime bosses. They're, they're capos. They're, they're, they run their, their own thing, and they mix their, their illicit uh, trade in with legitimate businesses. Uh, prior to the war, <laughs> some of the biggest gun runners in the world were in Ukraine, which surprises me that they need us for ammunition. Uh, they need us for guns. Then, uh, then you have the uh, um, uh, the the, uh, ch the child sex trade, the the porno snuff videos. All that coming out of Ukraine. Uh, if you don't know what a snuff video is, look it up. I really don't want to explain what it is. It just it, it it's bad. It's bad. 
So, uh, you know, and we're involved with that, and we're pumping billions of dollars in that in that country. And now we get to the uh, point where I'm, I'm really pissed off about is the rate at which we have been evacuating our own citizens. When you have to have a congressman, sitting congressman, former SEAL, go over and make arrangements to get people out of country. He was taking people out of, of Israel through Egypt in buses. He was, you know, he got people on small planes and flew them to Cyprus. Well, uh, our um, we had some chartered. I think it was three chartered jets showed up. Was the first of our, that came from our government, and they threw the pl three plane loads of people from Tel Aviv to Athens and they dumped them there uh, no help with continuation uh, of flight and I think, like that, 26 countries completely evacuated completely evacuated their their residents now I get mad when I I gotta pay for somebody else's war alright billions of dollars for somebody else's war I would never get mad to see if our government pay to bring our countrymen home from a war zone. I would have no problem with that whatsoever. But yet our country, once again, is putting other countries before ours. You know, I mean, you look at the uh, East Palestine disaster. No help for those people. The Maui disaster, no help for those people. And now we have people who are desperately trying to get home, get flown to Athens, dumped at the Athens airport, and then they have to pay thousands of dollars to get themselves and their loved ones home from Athens, Greece, to the United States. And that's on top of all the money they lost from their canceled tickets. And uh, uh, you know, you, you think about it. This this is this is something that's that's a moral imperative. Get our people home, you know. Uh, but he has he's failed at doing that so damn many times. He failed at doing that in in Afghanistan, and now he's failing to do it about it in Israel. The man is a he's a piece of shit. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Now, um. The, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, they're dumping people in Athens Airport. Now they've got a cruise ship. they got uh, a Norwegian cruise line ship from, uh, to come and pick people up in, in uh, Haifa. And uh, they're going to they're gonna take the people. The cruise ship is going to take the people from, uh, from Haifa to Cyprus. To Cyprus, little little ride from Haifa to Cyprus. Well, guess what? They have to pay for it. They, they the government's not paying for it. The government didn't. I guess didn't. It, it, so it's like you're you're paying for ferry service, but it, the thing is, you're being evacuated out of a war zone, and your country is is like some people don't have their money because of circumstances that happened on the ground there they might not have their possessions they might have you know their their money and 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 uh and everything might be gone uh or or, or left behind in haste and, and you know and our country's expecting them to pay i'm gonna hold my tongue there Uh, hold my tongue there. Okay. Uh, now, um, you know, we, we've had these demonstrations for the, for the Palestinians like for about a week. And this just shows not how bad our schools have failed our children. It shows how bad parents failed their children. Uh, this is this is a cl clear sign of liberal parents not being not 
uh, being in the loop or it worse facilitating this kind of thought but these are the same people that, that, that let's face it these are the same people at this uh, uh, you, know, you see these people that are that get an e job on and all that and you know, they're, they're white people from Nebraska and 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 uh, they're, they're trying to talk like they're Arabs when they're being interviewed uh, the one fella that just looked um, on Fox went out and interviewed them and just showed how dumb they are um, uh, Lawrence Jones Lawrence Jones he went out and showed how how, how damn ignorant they are and uh, but yeah these are the same people that were wearing masks and throwing Molotov cocktails at Black Lives Matter riots because remember most of the people who were involved in the violence, Black Lives Matter violence, uh, riots, were white. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Antifa, same thing. Uh, and, the, and the Rainbow Retards, same thing. Rainbow Retard uh, rallies, same thing. So it's the same people. They just put on different clothes. Uh in Gaza, uh, people don't realize uh, right what's going on there. All right, I, I've had a good idea what was going on there for a while. They get weapons, a lot of they get a lot of weapons. Uh, in fact, this is something that also has me upset. Uh, people have been uh, there. There's been reports, and I've seen at least one instance where these Hamas fighters were carrying m4s m4s are our guns those guns came from afghanistan as sure as god makes green apples those rifles came from afghanistan the ones that mr magoo left behind all right now uh but also with weapons the uh a lot of their weapons are improvised they're terrorists and they actually have people who are engineers, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, uh, that devise things for them and teach them. Uh, a lot of them are from the University of Tehran. And uh, one of the things they did is uh, to make anti-personnel and anti-tank rockets out of sewer pipe, the launchers out of sewer pipe. And... Uh, even making the rockets out of a uh, different diameter sewer pipe and how to make the uh, the rocket fuel out of common items uh, TPTA is an explosive uh, commonly used by terrorists in IEDs uh, but it's just like oh and it's made out of household items and AMFO is ammonium nitrate fertilizer uh, Oklahoma City bomb. Uh, the, and actually, ammonium nitrate is probably uh, far more uh, available over there uh, because uh, it's used like in to fertilize palm trees and stuff. So, um, and there's a lot of palm trees over there, different types of of them. Uh, so, ammonium nitrate actually uh, is probably more available. To the general public over in the Middle East than here. Here it's high, highly regulated since o Oklahoma City. Uh, yeah, the other, you know, it, the IEDs, improvised explosive devices, uh, uh, they make anti personnel mines out of hubcaps, out of, out of common items that would be seen laying in the rubble, exposed pressure cooker bombs. But they make these thermobaric charges, and what they make them out of may really surprise you. They make them out of butt cake pans. Uh, so, guys, if you see a butt cake pan laying around uh, over over there, I'd steer away from it. Uh, 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 some other things that you might want to uh, realize: uh, if you have an AR. Um, stock up on ammunition uh, simply because 
a lot of ammunition, the, the flow of ammunition is going to be heading to the Middle East. So if you are, uh, need 5.56 five, or 223, uh, stock up. Go down, go down to Palmetto uh, State Armory uh, there on 17 and grab you a couple boxes. That's just my advice there. Uh, where else am I going here with this? Been on a roll today. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the administration, uh, they're, they're sending stinking blinking around. Uh, he shuttled diplomacy between uh, uh, talking to the uh, Hamas people that are li living in luxury and, uh, with Lamborghinis and Qatar and uh, the uh, Crown Prince in Saudi Arabia uh, and, and okay. alright I'm going to have to cut off here stay safe, God bless